the starting point was was romantic menswear, actually historic romantic menswear, and so there were sort of some interesting lightweight waistcoats and beautiful short dresses. Short dresses are kind of a big thing this season. I think Peter Copping is so good at making clothes that women can wear, honestly, and I really liked how he sort of lightened things up this season. texture was was very important this season and I, I think um, I had in mind to do a pro predominantly white collection so I knew if there was going to be a lot of white there had to be a lot of texture in some ways. And I think on, on the surface this one it looks very feminine so it looks very close to what everybody knows the house is about but there was um, masculine elements thrown in this season but very realistic in some ways. I think it's something that women actually do wear. It was an interesting moment, I think, for Peter Copping. Obviously, Nina Ricci is known so much for its very feminine fashion, very influenced by lingerie. There's lots of lace. And he, this season, decided to bring a real masculine element into it by looking at 18th century waistcoats. So it was a surprise for sure, and I thought it was a very quiet beginning, the way it started all in white. I was really blown away by that beautiful Sevre blue towards the end, and you know, to be honest, I wish there had been a little bit more sprinkled through. But you know, more power to Peter for experimenting a bit with the codes of the house. The print, I knew that was a way where I could add, add color to the collection because as much as I like the idea of doing a white collection, I think a total white collection can sometimes seem like a bit of a, a cliche. So I knew that I could add uh, color by the print. I also added gray in, which was a kind of in-between tone. Black was completely eradicated and then just a flash of bright blue which I refer to as the Blue de Sèvres because it is very much like 18th century China. Peter always has such a love of feminine detail and it's just the most delicious collection. I mean, he, it's for a woman who, you know, revels in her femininity. I love Nina Ricci. Nina Ricci is like, to me, just the most feminine, balletic, kind of just appeals to your gut. And it's so unpretentious and it's so just kind and, and sort of you feel like that those clothes love women and you want to love them right back. I thought Peter Copping at Nina Ricci did an amazing job and I think continues to do an amazing job and just it feels ever more refined and and ever more confident and he just gives you a moment to look at things that are beautifully made and beautifully conceived and I think he's a real star. For a while Nina Ricci was it was just very French, you know, and very sort of, I don't know, you felt like you had to be sort of this specific kind of woman to wear it, and now it's really like on its way to becoming sort of a full range brand that, that a lot of people can, can participate in. Well, I, sh I should hope so. I mean, I think in some ways that's, you know, that's what we're aiming for.